Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress with jQuery UI tutorial for beginners and this is our part 3. In this video session guys, we will see that how can we implement auto complete of jQuery UI in WordPress. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of this playlist to get the clear concept about part number 3. So basically guys, if this is your first video session, then I strongly suggest you to go to YouTube. Now within online web tutor channel, you will find a playlist called how to use jQuery with WordPress. In our previous video sessions, we had seen about the introduction of jQuery with UI with WordPress as well as we have seen that how can we use accordion or implement in our WordPress setup. And the for coding background guys, just you go to this GitHub link I have provided right here. Okay, so just arrive on this link and you can download all the codes that we did so far in this playlist. So in this video session guys we will see that how can we use auto complete of jQuery UI in WordPress. Okay. So for that this is the jQuery UI.com. This is the official website of jQuery UI and now here you can find within the widget section there is a sub menu called auto complete. Okay. So if we click on that this is the page you will get. Okay. And now this is the example as we can see. So if we go to the view source just I'm clicking on that it will provide some of the options like all action script, Apple script, ASP, basic and so many languages. Okay. So if I type any character inside this text box, let's say A, this is the options actually rendered by tapping any of the specific character. This is called the autocomplete functionality. Okay. So we want that we should implement this functionality to WordPress so that we can type any character inside any text box then all options will be populated. So basically guys to use this functionality or to implement autocomplete in WordPress we need a library file. Okay. So just go to WP in Create This is a WordPress function. So if I scroll down here we have an option you will find about the jQuery UI autocomplete. This is the library that we have to import to use autocomplete in WordPress. Okay. So just I'm going to copy this library file go to editor and now this is the plugin guys that we did so far and all of the code that we did so far in this video session we actually uploaded into this github link okay so just i'm going to editor now we have to add that library file that we have copied inside this jquery ui's js files okay so let's make copy of that and now i'm going to replace jquery ui accordion with this library file because we are going to use jquery ui autocomplete functionality so successfully guys we have imported the library of autocomplete okay so next we have to make a menu system or a sub menu page to redirect this autocomplete functionality by a text box okay we need to make a separate file for that so just i'm going to views folder inside this viewed folder let's make a file called autocomplete okay this autocomplete actually contains the functionality of autocomplete inside a text box so actually we can type any of the character and it will populate the options regarding our query just back to browser just move to autocomplete documentation and now if i go to the view source section just i'm going to copy this div tag so just i'm going to copy back to editor and let me paste inside this file okay so this is the file guys this is the code that we have copied from the official website of jquery ui okay so next what we have to do we have to make the copy of these things also because this is the library or these are the methods that we have to attach with autocomplete functionality okay so let me copy that just back to editor open up javascript file so inside this assets folder we have a file called skip.js inside this skip.js guys this is the accordion functionality so far we have implemented okay so just i'm paste it here so these are the code guys actually we have copied from the jquery ui official website okay so let me replace this dollar sign with jquery so basically what actually this code means this is the id this is the selector that we have made right here okay this is called the id because we want that someone may type any of the character inside this input type text box then all the options will be populate and these are the options okay so if i scroll up these are the options called available tags this is the variable where we have stored all the options inside an array okay and now we have passed this variable right here inside the source parameter Okay, and this is the autocomplete functionality. To use this functionality, guys, we have actually used the library called jQuery UI autocomplete. So basically, all we have done now, now we have to use this file and this is script code that we did to our main plugin file. So how can we achieve that? So just back to browser. This is the dashboard and this is the plugin that we have made. 
and now in our previous tutorial guys this is the accordion section that we have completed okay so just I'm going to create a sub menu inside this jQuery WP and now we will make a separate sub menu sections for auto complete okay so for making a sub menu page inside a WordPress guys we actually use a function called add sub menu page this is the sub menu page is a WordPress function basically add some menu section or a sub menu page inside any of the menu section that we want okay so just I'm going to copy this function back to editor and now if I scroll up this is the add sub add menu page and now this is the action hook that we have attached with this function okay so I'm going to add this add sub menu page function in the first parameter of this function guys we have to pass the slug of our main menu page okay if I go to doc documentation this is the parent slug okay so we have to pass the parent slug so this is the parent that we have made okay so if I go here so this is the slug that we have developed that is WP jQuery UI so let me copy that go here and pass within that so first parameter we did in the second parameter we have to pass the page title menu title and the capability section okay so let me say that so for the first sub menu we want that it should be something called accordion okay so let me change that let's accordion just I'm going to copy this page title with this menu title in the next parameter we have to pass the capability that is manage options okay in the next functionality we have to pass the menu slug that is sub menu slug okay this is called the sub menu slug so just I'm going to make this slug with the same with this parent slug okay so just I'm going to copy paste it here and now next parameter we have to pass the slug sorry it's a callback function okay so just I'm going to copy the same callback function that we have attached with the parent menu and passed within that okay so when I click on the first sub menu it will hit the same parent with this because we have passed the same slug and the same callback function okay let me add a uh, another sub menu page and this is for the autocomplete okay so let me say that autocomplete copy this paste it here this is the parent slug and this sub menu actually appears in the same menu page that we did so far okay manage options is okay and now we have to change the slug of this so let's say WP jQuery UI and this is autocomplete okay for the callback function let's say that WP jQuery UI callback function for autocomplete okay so if I copy this callback function let me define this function so let's say that function this is the callback function and now for now left blank for this so successfully guys we have made a parent menu and now inside that parent menu we made two sub menu pages okay of auto accordion and autocomplete so if I go to administrator panel just refresh this page and now these are the sub menus that we have developed okay let me click on accordion section so this is accordion section and now if I click on autocomplete this is the autocomplete page okay so right now we actually didn't code any code for this so it is empty for now okay so just back to editor so inside this callback function guys we need to include this file it's called autocomplete.php okay so I'm going to use called the PHP buffer for that okay so let me say that ob start finally we need to clean the buffer so ob and clean and within these functions guys we need to include the contents of that okay so for that we need to include a file called include once and then file we have to include is something called autocomplete.php so this is the constant that we made in our last video session to include the PHP files okay so just I'm going to copy paste it here and now it will give the path up to this plugins folder now inside this plugins folder we have to go inside this views folder okay so let's see that views inside this views folder we have to include the file called autocomplete.php so let's say autocomplete.php successfully we have included now let's make a variable called template inside this template variable guys we need to store all the contents of the buffer so for that we need to use a function called obgate contents okay so successfully we have included our autocomplete.php file we have stored all of the codes of this page to this variable so only we have to make the echo of that so echo and the template section okay so if I save this file go to administrator panel and refresh this page so this is the tag section guys that we have made so far so let's do some of the styling format for this text box okay so just back to editor this is the file and let's say that style let's say margin top it's a 50 pixel 
okay this is the actually margin top value that we have assigned if I refresh that this is the tag section okay so if I type type any of the value inside this text box it will render all it will populate all the options that we have mentioned right here okay and this is the ID that we have passed and this is the ID of our text box okay so let's type any of the character something called C okay so while typing C it will populate the options called C C++ C closer COBOL and the cold fusion okay so just back to administrator panel let's type C so while typing C guys as you can see that the, all the options actually contained within inside this options will be actually populated something called action script it will contain the value of C Apple script it also contains the value of C so let's type COBOL COB and as you can see that our actually options will be filtered while typing any of the character inside this text box okay so this is the basic functionality of autocomplete guys that we have seen so far okay so let me remove that if I type as then all the actually words contained as that it will appear as we can see action script has a value for as apple script has also a value of as okay so all the options actually we had provided inside our tag section this is the array we have made if I type any of the character that it will matches actually inside this array values okay and all the filtered values actually will be rendered inside these options okay so these are the options actually rendered okay so we want to make it dynamic okay so inside this post sections guys if I go to post section inside this post sections we have a demo post as you can see PHP development learned WordPress development demo post test post and hello world so these are the dummy posts that we have made okay so we want that these posts actually populates inside this text box when we type any of the character inside this specific post so how can we achieve that so before starting this concept we have to actually populate all these values means the post section inside this array because all the options actually rendered from this available text this is an array okay so how can we populate that so if I just I'm going to cut this where available text variable from this script.js file just go to autocomplete.php file now inside this script tag let's say script inside this script tag guys I want to define that variable okay so let me define that this is the available tags okay so if I go to browser let me reload this page and check that page has been worked or not so let's if I type as so it is working okay so we want that all the posts that we have created inside this post section we want to read all these values and populate inside this array okay so how can we do that so let me clear all these things first okay let me change this variable name so let's say available posts okay this is the available post that we have created so let me pass this variable to skip.js file inside this source okay this is the variable that we have defined inside this autocomplete.php file okay so inside this array we have to code actually to get the post okay so how can we get the post so basically we actually use the wrong syntax of PHP so let's see that within this PHP we want to get all the posts okay so let's say all posts basically get posts is a WordPress function guys inside this get post functions we have to pass some of the parameters to get our related post okay so first parameter I'm going to pass I'll call the post type okay so post type equal to post okay and the post status should be published okay so let's see that post status equal to publish okay so successfully we have passed two of the parameters inside this gate post function so what actually this function will do this function will find all the post which has actually post type equal to post and the status should be published all it actually picks all the post and stored inside this variable so only we have to look through inside this variable so okay so just I'm going to copy let's say that for each this is the variable it will contain some of the values okay and all the values actually contain inside an object okay so if I copy this all post let me print R so let's say print R just paste it here and now if I copy this available post variable name just refresh this page control U to get the source code if I type to find this is the available post okay so inside this post as we can see that these are the related posts that we have queried okay and now this is the post type as we can see post and post status should be published 
okay so we want to look through of each post and store inside that array okay so basically this is an object okay so just go to editor and let's say that echo and now within this single quotes we have to pass the value of stx and the post title so this is the post title that we are going to render okay so just go to the single quotes within double quotes we have to pass called stx stx and now this is an object so post title is the value and we have to separate the value with a comma okay so just this comma you have to put okay so if i save this file so just save this file go to browser just copy before this variable name get rid of this printer let me find this variable let's find this variable just control f and this is the available post so successfully we have actually picked all the posts and now this is the comma separated value okay and this is variable actually we have passed inside this autocomplete okay so if i back to the functionality point of view just refresh this page let's type out this is l and l basically contained in php development learn wordpress development and this is hello world so all these words actually contain the character l okay so if i type d this all contains the de okay this is php development this is learn wordpress development and this is demo post okay so successfully guys we have actually populated all these dynamic values from this post section okay so if i go to post section again let me type a value and let's say that sample post created okay so if i publish that go to this text box refresh this page and let's type sample as we can see that this is the value that we have created from here and it will populate it inside this text box okay so this is called the dynamic value population inside this autocomplete functionality you can use the same concept and now you can actually populate the user sections or as well as inside this text box okay only you have to make the query to these users and put all the values to this right here okay by putting these values actually you will populate all the values while tapping any of the character inside this text box okay so successfully guys we have seen by the help of this video session we have made the clear concept about that how can we implement the jquery ui autocomplete functionality in wordpress so the main points that we have to remember before complete this video is that that we have to import a library file to use autocomplete is something called jquery ui autocomplete so by using this library file we can actually access or use this function okay autocomplete function is provided by this library file okay so inside this method we have to pass a source parameter inside this source parameter this is the available post is the option basically this is an array which basically contains all the values we want to populate while tapping any of the character inside this text box okay so successfully guys we have seen about the concept of implementing of autocomplete of jquery ui in wordpress so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day